Hi everybody. Today I want to talk about a little bit about tracheal position or tracheal deviation from midline because when people first learn patient assessment this can be a little bit confusing but it makes a lot of sense. So let's look at it just real quickly. So when you're first learning it your instructors are probably going to talk about shifting away from the affected area or towards the affected area. So let's talk about that just real quick. So when you have anything outside of the lung, and when I say outside of lung, what we really mean, if we're looking at the visceral and parietal pleura, the visceral, visceral pleura, remember, kind of lines the organ itself, the parietal pleura lines the chest wall. So when we say outside of the lung, we're really talking outside of that visceral pleura. And you can see right here, this is a pneumothorax. This is all sorts of air in that pleural space. And you can see that air as it's separating the visceral and parietal pleura. It can have a tendency to shift that, that lung, that trachea, that mediastinum away from the affected area. So the affected area is here and that is being pushed away from the affected area. So shift away or it pushes it away. So anything in that pneumo, uh, anything in that pleural space, like a pneumothorax or pleural effusion, if this was water in that pleural space, it would be pushed away. Now here is where I want you to understand. You need to understand this concept. Please don't memorize this because somebody that's writing a test question, instead of asking the question straightforward like this, which of the following will push the trachea away from the affected area? And a pneumothorax might be there. I could ask the same question, but I ask it like this. Which of the following can push the trachea towards the unaffected side? And see how it changed that terminology just a little bit, but it still means a shift in this direction away from the affected area, but towards the unaffected area. So this is why you need to strive for understanding, okay? So anything outside of the lung, outside of the visceral pleura will push away, okay? Whereas atelectasis or fibrosis, that's in the alveoli inside the lung, inside the visceral pleura. And if you think about it, this, kind of think about it like this. If I put my arm here, and we're talking about the weight of the lung. Anytime we have atelectasis or a lot of dense fibrosis, that lung gets heavier, okay? So think about this. That lung gets heavier and it wants to shift. It wants to draw everything towards it pulls it towards the affected side so if you look at this x-ray you can see they've drawn the um, main stem or the trachea and the crina and the main stem bronchus and do you see it's shifted aw um, away from midline but towards the affected area as a matter of fact you can still see kind of lung tissue so this is a pull towards the affected area and that's usually seen in atelectasis and fibrosis so these are really the four things on the mbrc they test most about as far as tracheal deviations hope this has helped